Hello, this is Haku Udabin, and I am here to read, read SCP-66, also known as Eric's Toy. If you like the video, please like. If you enjoy this content, please like the video. Oh, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to ring that little bell or next to the subscribe button. If you don't like the video, then... Then why did you watch it? <laughs> anyway. Item number, SCP-66. Object class, safe is, is striked out, so is protest. Euclid ed impetus is what's currently applicable. Special containment procedures. The oldest containment procedures were SVP-66 is to be kept in a safe deposit box at Site-21. Personnel level 2 or higher may perform experiments on SCP-66 after filing the relevant request forms. Researchers may log their results in experiment log 66 beta. Now they have changed. SCP-66 is to be kept in a tungsten carbide box in Site-21's high-value item storage facility. Once every month, this box must be manually inspected for damage to the interior. SCP-66 consistently destroys any recording devices placed inside its containment box. If damage is present, SCP-66 must be moved to a new box. This task is performed via a robotic arm capable of performing the task in under 3 seconds. Description SCP-66 is an amorphous this mass of braided yarn and ribbon and weighing approximately 1 kilogram. Strands of SCP-66 may be taken individually and manipulated. When this is done and done on the yeah, diatonic scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, is produced by the object. When a set ed of six or more notes are produced, SCP-66 will produce a benign effect of varying nature and duration. SCP-66 will not respond to manipulation while any effect produced by it is in progress. Prior to Incident 662, results have included SCP-66 transformed into a small calico kitten for 17 minutes. The kitten exhibited a significant friendliness and playfulness and appeared to be declawed. A song lasted for 4 minutes, accused of guitar with vocal accompaniment by singer slash songwriter redacted. The lyrics warned listeners to not use with sharp objects without parental supervision. A small cupcake, chocolate with chocolate frosting, and a lid it, it candles stuck in the top. Notably, the tons I reduced prior to this effect corresponds to the opening notes of Happy Birthday. SV66 became responsive after said cupcake was resumed, was consumed. I'm not going to try and tell you what the notes of Happy Birthday are because that is somehow taken by a copyright. Which is ridiculous because everyone sings that song. Anyway, Incident 66 2. On April 18th, D6640 before 37 was left, was instructed to use a pair of scissors to remove a portion of a SCP 66 for testing. However, when he began to cut it, SCP-66 rolled one meter away from him before stopping and uh, making an unidentified squeaking sound. Before he could be provided with further instruction, D-664-37 attempted to cut it again. SCP-66 rolled away and produced a phrase, Are you Eric? In response. After D6644 or 37 replied in a negative, SV66 morphed into its present state and began emitting loud, no destined stokata notes until OD6644-37 was the score from the room. <sighs> After instant 662, SV66 
began to exhibit behavior highly inconsistent with its previous properties. SCP-66 now displays significant mobility, primarily in the form of being able to move tentac tentacular proportions of itself at a very high speed. While SV-66 is either unable or unwilling to use its ability for transportation, it will occasionally attempt to damage its container by rubbing its strands against the side of the box, gradually wearing it down. This process appears to be unusually effective for the materials in consideration. Additionally, SCP-66 will automatically produce notes and effects in the presence of any human, regardless of whether that human interacts with SV-66. This process takes a minimum of 6 seconds. In the aftermath of Incident 662, effects produced by SCP-66 have included A single bee was released near the containment, singing the 4436 for flying away. The bee was not captured. It is unknown how the bee survived. Beethoven's Second Symphony was played at over 140 decibels, causing permanent deafness in three personnel and permanent hearing damage in eight others. The room containing SCP-66 experienced a sudden and complete absence of light for five hours. Personnel in the room were hearing loud breathing behind their shoulders, although no source was apparent. When it is not producing anomalous effects, SCP-66 will say the name Eric constantly in a deep masculine voice. So SCP-66 is now a lot more dangerous now that someone decided to harm it in any way, shape, or form. Makes sense. You you mess with someone and else's things and got what uh, what was coming to you. Anyway. This was SCP-66. Tomorrow we'll go over 67 to 70. I hope to see you then. Goodbye. Please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And ring that bell icon.